good morning and welcome to another Citroen video in my 2008 Citroen C4 Grand Picasso and in this video I'm going to be changing it out to CV joint <music> sound when going around a corner has come back to haunt me um, that means the CV joints on its way out it's, it's this one now uh, if you can cast your mind back to a few years ago I, I did uh, replace both front drive shafts but I did use a uh, second hand parts but obviously sooner or later they're going to wear out and, and this one the CV boot actually popped off it was picked up on the, the last MOT so it's likely that some dirt's got in and it's worn the joint a bit quicker than it normally would have done. So let's uh, get get this drive shaft out. I'm going to do it off the car, I'll just pull the drive shaft off and then I'll, uh, I'll swap the joint in the shed on the workbench. So with the, with the uh, wheel off and steering and lock, it's obvious that you can tell straight away you can hear that a lot of play in the, in the joint, that means the joint's worn. Now, when I took the wheel off, I found this. So that means the clip for the, uh, for one of the, one of the clips on the inner boots has come off. Now, luckily, I've got enough uh, spare clips. So, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be too hard to fix this off. And it's a, I think it was the right decision to sort this out on the bench rather than doing it in situ, so. I'll get this drive shaft out and I'll rejoin you on the bench. I've well, finally got the drive shaft out and it turns out this in this inner joint is intact so that clip I saw must have been remains of the clip that had come off when this popped off. So that's all good. Got, now I've got my new drive shaft, uh, not drive shaft, CV joint. Comes with the boot and clips and grease and the circuit as well so first thing I need to do and better uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be loads of grease so what I'll do is I'll just put some of these these towels down it'll just save me from getting grease everywhere well that's the, that's the hope anyway so I need to get this, this clip off, so it's a pair of pliers and off it comes, it was that easy. So there's our CV joint, uh, that's all cool. I'm not going to bother replacing the boat, I'll just knock this joint off so it's quite easy to do, just take a, take a two pound lump hammer and just knock on it. In. It takes quite a few taps until it comes off. And this one's fighting me as well. That seems to be the story of this old job. Well, there's our old CV joint. There don't appear to be uh, much grease in it. So I'll just pull this, this old circlip off. Let's see if I can do it by hand. There we go, that's the old. I'll take a, there's a circlip on there, and that's what secures the joint to the shaft. So, might as well use the new bits. New, 
you'll slow clip on and as you can see they are identical so, get this one started might be better show you on camera Just gently tap it on. <sighs> and it'll drop this drive shaft. And this is where the punch will come in handy. go uh, and that's on so next let's open the drive shaft There we go, nice new drive shaft, it even comes with a hub nut. Don't mean Ian Seabrook, the uh, YouTuber. Let's have a look. Uh, got something to cut. Just using whatever's to hand for about foot side cutters. Some grease in. So you can get it packed in. <sighs> Maybe just sh I'm getting grease everywhere. Oh, what fun! <sighs> Time to reassemble.
get it started on the spline then using the flat end of the nut just gently tap it in and just see if I can work some of this grease in as well Just part every, every turn. Let's have a look. Have I got that in? No, nope, I haven't got it in. because it prob probably isn't helping If we can get some uh, grease off the sp splines, and it might engage a bit better. <sighs> yep, I think we've got it. That'll be going anywhere. So a bit more clean up. Time to fit the circle clip. No, so I'm not going to bother with the uh, with the bolt and the circle clips that were supplied with the drive shaft. I'm going to use these that I got on Amazon way back when I did the polo. If any of you remember, remember that? Remember when I had the the two? Is it the 2004? Volkswagen Polo, just a it was just basically a flip car, and oops, I've got this the wrong way around. I'll try again.
think I've got it in the right spot. So I'll get me a uh, proper circuit pliers and oh, no, it's come off. So, get, try again with the circlet pliers. It ain't easy. Just give it a good squeeze. So find out if it works or not. Just give it a last crimp up no now one more left and then that's it game over I use a jubilee clip which I don't particularly want to do That it went on a bit easier and then it just popped straight back off Right, I'm going to stop it here, be here all day. So I've got it all together. There we go, that's not going anywhere. All that grease should work its way in. Cut. No play at all. So, yep, yeah, that's a 100% confirmed fix. And what I'll do is uh, I'll get it all buttoned up, I'll do it off camera. Because it's a reverse of taking it off. I had to, un had to undo the bottom ball joint because those bloody two bolts were where it up bolts that strut. When it bolts is rounded off and it just won't come off, so I'll have to get some new bolts for that at some point. Should have wanted to do the suspension again. Anyway, enough of me waffling on. Get this back on car, get it all buttoned up. It's now the next day. So I managed to get everything buttoned up yesterday. Took it for a little test drive. And the CV joint popped out but luckily I was able to uh, freewheel it back home but before I resume work I need to catch up on my stickers it's gonna be a little sec segment 
called Sticker Section. Stickers, 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 stickers section. So in this sticker section, I've got five stickers. I've got Kuzamak, Ken Small Engine Repair, uh, Grasco Palmer, Tim, James Gibson, and AJP, Dead Machines. So I'll move you around and I'll uh, get these stuck on the uh, lid of my tool chest. The lid of my tool chest is starting to fill up with stickers. So I just need to be careful about where I place these stickers. Uh, so in no particular order. Just fit them in wherever I can. So I'm going to start off with Ken. He's, a, he's a, one of these lawnmower repair guys. So let's have a look here. Put him next to everyday solids. We must have one of the biggest stickers. Well, in, biggest in the uh, circle of YouTubers I uh, associate with on the live streams. So next up is Tim. He works on lawnmowers as well. As you know, I've uh, dabbled in it and another lawnmower guy. AJP, a guy called Ash, yeah, somebody I associate with uh, on the uh, on the various live streams. Right, we'll go for Cruiser Mac. So we'll find a home for his sticker. We'll put it in, put it between John Madden, Ian Matthews. Unless I spotted Ian Matthews. Last but not least, James Gibson. Get another another guy I see on the see about on the live streams. Oh, this is different. This is one of those transparent stickers. That's interesting. So we'll put him right by there. So that's it for this particular sticker section. So if you want to do a sticker swap, just drop me an email uh, with your address, name and address, and I'll put you one in post. So with that, it's back to the video. So with the drive shaft uh, popped out, that means I'm going to have to take it all off again. It should be quicker this time because it's all been apart. And what of that bloody bolt? To contend with. So what I'll do is I'll get the drive shaft off, do all that off camera, get it back in here and we'll try and we'll get it reassembled and hopefully it won't pop out this time. So I had to separate it to get it out and the drive shaft just, just popped out when I turned the corner. I was going around a bus terminus as part of my test drive and that's when it popped out. So try and get it back in and you now I said I'd run out of a of you know, CV boot circlips, which I had. And then I remembered I'd bought this during the MOT you know, when the when the boot had been popped off. I thought I'd buy a whole new boot to be on the safe side. Turns out I didn't need it. And it comes with clips, so this is one shot. I've only got one shot of this. And if it don't work, I'm stuck until I get a replacement CV boot clips, which I've ordered on Amazon. So I need to get this straightened out. <coughs> Where the, uh, the shaft goes in, use the rubber mallet. Because even with a nut on there, I can still I can still mull the thread. Just move that, get it, get it all straight. So yeah, I wonder if it's because there's grease inside there, you yeah, know, hydraulic pressure. I mean, the, the, shaft, the drive shaft itself is fine. But I still should be able to get get it in. Not wishing to sound rude. Uh, 
Uh, here's me making another attempt. To... <sighs> Just so this spines out different. Let's see, try to clean off the, the excess grease. That might play a part in it. Done this before, so I can do it again. Just a rubber mallet. see plenty of, th of thread <clears throat> Right, I think this is going to take some time, but that's a general idea. And I'll uh, come back to you when I got done. I have a sneaking suspicion this new circlip might have something to do with the not going all the way in. So what I'm going to do is got, I've got I've still got the old one, and I'll put it back in. So I reinstated the the original circlip, and I've got it. I, I, I've made sure that the the CV joint is all the way in, all the way up the splines. Now the trick with these is you need to get it straight. Got to get it dead on straight, and then you can get past the circlip. And there's a corresponding groove in the in the CV joint and the circlip because it's a bit a little bit wider than the than the splines on the drive shaft. It'll engage with that and it secures the the joint in place. So. With this uh, CV boot kit I had, somewhere I had a, a circlip, I don't know what I've done with it. I'll put it back in the box. Knowing me, I probably haven't, but yes, I did, didn't I? Uh. So, unfortunately, I've only one shot at this, and if it doesn't work, I'm stuck until my new ones arrive, which could be any time today. The contents in it should be here by 10 pm. So if this doesn't work, I'm, I'm without transport. Well, I've got a car I can borrow, but I'd, I'd rather not. Let's look, make sure I get this right. Yep, that's all the right way. And that says I've only, I've only one shot at this, and if it doesn't work, I'm, I'm basically stuffed. So yeah, that's engaged. Got the special circlip pliers. So just gently crimp it down. Oops. The drive shaft's rolling about. I said I've only one shot at this. So it's got to work first time. Just make sure all these are engaged. I might do is just 
bend this back a bit more. Right, I just need to push, knock that down a bit. Sometimes you need two pairs of hands. Gently crimp it. Don't go mad. Just gonna gently squeeze it together. That's the only one shot of this. It's worked. Yes. Right. I'm gonna put this back in the car now. Uh, take it on the test drive and it won't happen again because it because the spline it's gone all the way up the spline so that CV joint's not going to pop out so get everything packed away shouldn't, shouldn't need these tools <coughs> and so I do use me half as advanced tools to get used that's what I bought them for I'm bound to, to look nice get used and that's what they're made for so catch up with you a bit later on well, i'm glad to say the test drive was a success i took my usual route it takes me up uh, around york hills and around some corners and then but a few light went on so the trip to the petrol station to get some diesel so adding to the uh, testing so remember if you ever fit a new cv joint Remember to turn the steering lock to lock just to get it all settled and you should be alright because I did have a bit of vibration in steering at first but you know when I got back I just turned the steering lock to lock and it sorted it so everything's all settled and everything's where it should be so we're all good no more clicking so I call that a confirmed fix so I hope you enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe share ring that notification bell don't forget to select all and you get notified when when my videos comes out it's usually Friday and Sunday at 6 pm UK time. We're on British summer time at the moment. So, any questions and comments, you know what, Paul Mazzaver, thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.